Yeah, I think there's a, a consensus that maybe it's getting a little bit toppy. However, there's a tale of two markets. On the one hand, you've had $10 trillion of stimulus aid and liquidity dumped into the stock market, authorized into the stock market, to solve a $1.2 trillion GDP contraction. So there is excess stimulus, but you are seeing a little frothiness, particularly in tech stocks. To give you an example, Aline, Apple, which is the favorite stock of the S&P 500, the earnings estimates for 2021 have gone up 4.6% in the last 60 days. However, the stock price has gone up 45% over the same period and 75% for the year. So there are certain pockets of the market that seem to be a little bit uh, heavily valued. However, there's a whole other section of the stock market that's unloved, the laggard sectors, kind of the old world stocks like banks and financials, industrials, energy, et cetera. And I think as we get closer and closer to a vaccine and or treatment, which now looks imminent within coming months, you're gonna see a huge rotation out of the somewhat overvalued in certain pockets tech stocks into some of the laggard stocks that have been left behind that are trading at very low valuations. Wow, there'll be a shifting from the overvalued stock, a tech stock to other laggard sectors. This is interesting. What sectors would be uh, the next rising star in the U.S. stock market? Yeah, so I, I think, you know, if you take Apple as the most loved stock in the S&P 500, probably the most hated stock in the S&P 500 right now is Wells Fargo, which is a bank. And um, if you look at historic multiples, Bank of uh, Wells Fargo trades between one to two times book value historically over the past decade. Right now, it's trading at a 38% discount to book value. So there's a tremendous amount of pessimism. The last time that it traded at this level of discount was 2009. It only did so for a few weeks and within a couple of months, it traded right back up to book value and the stock appreciated over 100% over that period. So I think right now um, people are just a little bit hesitant until we get the vaccine. Once that happens, you're gonna see a, a move into cyclicals. As a matter of fact, we had a Bank of America Global Fund Manager Survey come out this month that surveys about 200 managers that run about $500 billion of assets. And they've said that they are starting to rotate into some of the value stocks, some of the small cap stocks, and even some emerging market stocks like Indonesia as the dollar weakens, as demand for commodities picks up, and as inflation uh, slowly, slowly picks up with the Fed backstopping from its speech last week.